In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to remove background noise from vocals. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. Background noise on vocals can be quite annoying. This could be fan noise from your computer or some other hum or noise that somehow made its way into the recording. There are several ways to deal with this. If it's a consistent hum from a fan or something, then the easiest way to deal with it would be to quickly add a noise gate. Meant to be a break away from searching emotional. To do that, add the fruity limiter to the first FX slot on your vocal track in the mixer. Next, go to Presets and select Noise Gate. Meant to be a break away from searching. The setting should work in most cases, but you might have to tweak the level a little bit depending on the loudness of your recording. Now, any sound below the threshold will be muted. You can also remove noise with Edison. I knew it was a sure thing Meant to be A break away from searching Emotional Reprieve Now and start Left click on the upper right corner of the sample and select Edit Sample from the menu. This will bring up Edison, which is FL Studio's integrated audio editing and recording tool. You can also do this from the channel rack. Just click on the sample to bring up the sampler, click here, and then here. Or you could drag it into Edison directly. This vocal has a lot of background noise. I knew it was a sure thing meant to be. To remove it, you need to select an area where only the background noise is present. Next, right click here to acquire a noise profile. Now, Edison will know what to remove from the recording. Now, you can either select a certain area where the noise is present in order to apply the noise removal tool to just that area, or you can process the entire track. Once you've made your selection, click here to open the cleanup tool. This controls the amount of noise removal. You can click the preview button to hear how it will sound. I knew it was a sure thing. And if you click here, you'll be able to only hear what's being removed. This can be useful to ensure that it's not removing parts of the recording that you want to keep. A higher threshold can theoretically reduce more noise, but it can also mess up the parts you want to keep. So it's best to leave it at the default position and try adjusting only the amount first. I knew it was a sure thing Meant to be A break away from searching Emotional Reprieve Now it's starting I knew it was a sure thing I knew it was a sure thing. Oftentimes there will be unwanted breathing noises, pops, clicks, and so on, which can't always be removed automatically. You can then manually edit those noises out by zooming in and cutting out the clicks like this.
Emotional. You can also do it in Edison. There are also dedicated plugins available that will automatically reduce breathing noises, such as the ERA Plosive Remover, which I often find myself using, as well as other dedicated noise removal plugins. These often have advanced algorithms that make the cleanup process a breeze. Emotional. I knew it was a sure thing. Meant to be a break away from searching. Emotional. We breathe now and start. I knew it was a sure thing. Meant to be. AccuSonus has a wide range of plugins like this to help clean up vocals. You can find the link to some of these plugins in the description below. I'd like to thank our Patreons for their ongoing support. And as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like us to make, or if you have a question, just let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the links below if you need feedback on your music, mixing, mastering, and so on. Thanks for watching.